Good morning, Pershaw Abbey community. I hope you are all well. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about something we don't often talk about, and that's death. Now, this week we have seen Halloween, and that's a festival which is said to have its roots in Christian beliefs and practices, and now really seems to have more to do with pumpkins, children's parties, sweets, chocolates, apple bobbing and dressing up fun. Now the word Halloween, as I'm sure many of you are aware, comes from an old Scots term, All Hallows Eve, where a hallow is another word for a saint, an eve for the day before something, but I figured most of you knew that already. Vigils were often held the day before a Christian festival, and All's Hallow, All Hallows Eve was the day before All Saints Day which is celebrated on the 1st of November, and then that's followed rapidly by All Souls Day, which is celebrated on the 2nd of November. Now, at this time of the year, the church remembers all of the faithful departed, not only the saints, but those of the local church and the community who have died. And this time also extends out to Remembrance Sunday, when we remember those who have died in conflict from the First and the Second World Wars and on to those conflicts in the present day. Now, if, like me, you have lost a loved one in the past 18 months or so, you are likely to have received a letter from the Benefice Office to invite you to join us at our All Souls service, which is going to take place in Pershore Abbey at 5pm on the evening of Sunday the 6th of November. That's this Sunday coming. This service will also be broadcast as a live stream so that if you can't be physically present, you can still join us in this way over the internet. Now, this is a quiet and reflective service where many people come and they are united in their individual and their collective grief. Now, this grief can be a very raw and recent grief or the grief or loss of many years hence. Now, during this service, prayers are said, candles are lit, and the names of loved ones are read out. And this can be really moving and very helpful for people who are grieving. Now, if your bereavement is from earlier, and you would like your loved one to be remembered, please let the Abbey Office know by email, if possible, and today. And today is Wednesday, the 2nd of November, and the email address for the Abbey office is office at pershawabbey.org.uk. You'll also find the email address on our website. Now, if you don't think this service is your kind of thing, and it doesn't have to be, please know that you are also very welcome to come into the Abbey at any time that's convenient to you, obviously when it's open, to light your own candle for a loved one, to say a prayer, or to just sit quietly and think about them. Now, lighting a candle is something we can all do in church or at home. Um, and I am aware that the fire brigade would really like me to remind you that if it's a proper flamed candle, please treat it with care and don't leave it unattended. Many of us do it to relax or to say prayers, perhaps watching as the flame flickers and that tiny amount of smoke rises up towards the ceiling and up to heaven, taking with it our prayers. Let us finish today with a prayer written by Nicholas Slee. God of all comfort and strength, soothe us when we are hurt. Calm us when we are afraid. Hold us when we are alone. Support us when we are tired. Lead us through the valley of the shadow to the place where we can at last come home. Amen. And may you know God's blessing with you in your day today. We'll see you again soon. Bye bye.